the sunshine. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for stopping by and viewing. I wanted to bring a small haul to you guys. I had purchased some things from Joanne's. I had a box appointment and my sister took me. So let me show you what I was able to purchase. And these are from Hero Arts. Look how awesome these are, guys. This is from Hero Arts. And it's their uh, florals. And it is um, one, two, three, four pieces. They're three by four clear stamps. They're originally like $14.99, so they're on sale at Joann's for, I think I want to say um, $8.99 I got these for. And the number is CM261 for this particular stamp set. But look how pretty that flower is, guys. Awesome, right? And it says, wishing you well, sending my love, and congratulations. The next one is from the same company, and this is also the floral. This one says, thanks a bunch, hello, and X and O. Look how lovely this one is. This is like a whole pack, so you can kind of hand color these in. This would be really nice, and just a mild word on a card or something. Then I picked up this cute one here, and it's um, Hero Arts again, but this is their fairy, and it says thank you, it has like some stars, some flowers, fairy much, I love you, sending fairy kisses, birthday wishes, um, all you need is love and a little pixie dust. Oh, I love that, guys, isn't this awesome? So I got all of these for like $8.99, and originally they're $15. I was happy about that. Then I went into their clearance section and I had got these um, chipboard, the nice uh, chipboard uh, tag. And this is nice to like do the, Je the Julie Nutting dolls on and stuff like that. So I kind of got that um, just to make a few tags. So maybe I'll make a few and send them out as happening. Now. I hope so. Then I purchased um, another new collection from Hero Arts because it's their fancy dyes. And um, it's from Hero Arts as well. Um, this one has a furry in it, which is really pretty too. Um, and I think these were all the same, $14.99, but I got them myself for $8.99. So with this one, let me see if you can see it. Oh, maybe I should get a piece of paper. Hold on. I want to try to show you what it actually looks like. Um, there you go. So I actually used some of my inks just to color one in. I'll probably make a card with it. But look how cute. This is the fairy right here. She's sitting there. And um, yeah, it comes out pretty nice, right? So you can use different colors to do cards or make it all the same. But I use a lot of different colors in here. So this is what this dye looks like. And, and then this is when you color in it what it looks like, guys. So this I like a lot. Then I purchased another dye set. And this was supposed to be like the wood grain. I don't know. I have an issue with wood grain. I love the wood grain because, you know, you can do so much with it. But I don't know. For the life of me, I just... This is what it looks like. I did color it in, but look how it just separates, you know? So I don't know if I should use tape on the back of it when I'm doing it, just so that it actually stays close. But other than that, it kind of, some places, it just cuts, it splits it right open. But I did use some browns to color this in, just to show you. So this is what this looks like. I don't know if I want to keep this. Um, I have something close to this before and we're doing the same thing. I don't know why I thought it would be different, but I think, uh, and this is better than the first one. I use, I think this is 80 pound paper here, because if you use any thinner paper, it just rips, okay? So that's just, you know, some FYI information. Um, but I guess if I tape it down, it won't be so bad. But eh, it wasn't, I wasn't as happy as I was with the, uh, the fairy. The fairy is just gorgeous. Just gorgeous this time. So that is my Joanne's haul, guys. Thank you for stopping by and um, watching me and hearing me. Um, I hope all of you guys have a wonderful evening. Thank you.